Hey bloggers, this is Debbie from DebbieStongalon.com and today I'm going to show you how to filter out spam bots from the referral section of your Google Analytics. Below in the notes I've put an article address for you to read that will be very helpful in understanding what's going on, what the spam bots are, what they're trying to do, why they're doing it. The main idea here that you need to know going into this is that you need to filter these guys out. So before they can get in and find any vulnerabilities in your site, you want to take them out. So you want to get into your Google Analytics and then you want to go down here on the left hand side to acquisition, all traffic, and referrals. I'm using a test site here that I have that will help us see what's going on. If I come down into referral traffic, I see some addresses here that I don't know. They, these are not sites that I know anything about and um, I don't know why they would be referring traffic to this particular blog. You will see s some addresses that are definitely legit like maybe Pinterest or maybe just Google search or Facebook or something like that or maybe you did a guest post and it's that address where you guest posted definitely that could um, get back to your site and be referring to you but these sites here if it looks funny it probably is funny business so you want to definitely get rid of them and filter them out so that they can't do anything bad to your site the way you do this is to um, get the address that is showing up so I'm going to just um, copy this address and then you're going to go into either open a new window or you can um, just do it from where you're at, but you're going to open in the admin panel this window here and go way over here to the right where it says filters. And then you're going to have a opportunity to add a filter. Here's some I've already done, but what I'll show you how we do it. We add a filter. It's going to be create a new filter. We're going to have a filter name. You can name it anything you want. I'm going to put spambot exclude. And then under filter type, I'm going to put custom. Under filter field, it's going to be referral. And the filter pattern is going to be that exact address that it's showing is giving me that referral. Then you're, all you need to do is save. There is a section here that says verify this filter. And it's showing you what would happen if you do this based on the previous seven days. These particular spam bots usually have already come and gone. So it may or may not show show up. It may the filter may work uh, as verified and it may not. At this point, you don't need to worry about this section. Don't even bother. Just save it. What you do need to do is come back in 30 days and make sure that that particular site has not been able to crawl your site on the back end anymore. And you will see your list of exclusions here, and you can remove them, change them, all that kind of thing. Uh, from this particular site. So that's what you want to do and listen this is important. You need to do this. You need to get in in the next couple of weeks before the new year starts and make sure that you don't have any spam bots crawling back there that could get into um, your site, find vulnerabilities either through plugins you're not using or other um, areas that they can access and make sure that they stay out. Be sure to read the article in the notes below. It gives great information and further articles for you to do some research. And make sure that you get this done so that your site is definitely safe and your analytics are right on track. This is very important if you are trying to work with brands or you want to do advertising and those sorts of things. You need to have really good analytics. So this will help in that area. And remember, you can do this.